Welcome back to the adventures of potentially one of the best characters we've ever had in the Game of Thrones world. That being Lord Paramount, Jeremy Strong of the Martinlands. I forgot we did that. The authoritative, ambitious, just gregarious, duelist knight, formidable fighter, strong. Uh, what do they call it in this? Brilliant commander. There we are. The only downside to him is, of course, slothful and to some extent trusting as well. The cool thing about this guy is he is absolutely beloved by everybody. Groomed gives him an immediate attraction opinion. Obviously helps out with inviting people into plots. That plus the gregarious, the just, the knight, the everything. Um, the strong as well actually contributes to even more attraction opinion. Basically means we have a lot more people that want to join our plots just because our guy is big and strong and sexy. Which is going to save us, ironically, a lot of money as well. So... Where do you want to start, then? Um, now, we are still working on the plot for the Veil. That's still the thing that we are going to capitalize on today. I want to make sure we have the Veil by the end today. We're not going to stop today until we've got the Veil, mark my words. Let's send out some gifts to these new people who are more than happy to join our plot. Some people are just straight up want to join it anyway. I should really have let the game tip for a little bit before we did this. Um, but we'll go ahead and bribe all the people who are relatively cheap. I don't want to quite bankrupt the realm. Or oh, he says bankrupt in the realm, never mind. Um... But there's an entire kingdom on the line here. Bear in mind that the, 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 the person that we're going to install on the throne of the Vale and our dynasty members already have kids together. We might as well push it as soon as possible. Petition by the name of Sir Mathos Straw request. What is this? Can I have nothing where it's want to custom serve the Lord Paramount with loyalty? Um, oh, right, because we're having a... We're having a, a, a feast, aren't we? Uh, sure. 50 gold in exchange for 50 prestige. He gains whatever. We'll try and be a kind, nice boy. Uh, she's offering us High Admiral? Yeah, High Admiral is at the end of the day a position on the council. They're absolutely gonna do it. Oh, God. Galad has discovered my plot and informed Queen Olena Martin. You shit. Look at this guy. Owes a favour to Master Raymond, Andrew Tarth, Aram Paramount Albar, Bolan Martin, Septon Poet, Septon Raymond, Moros and Moros. Holy shit. Um... 129%. I'm really praying that she doesn't do anything to stop us with this plot. Let's also move our spy master over there. Obviously, that resets since succession. And let's get you over to work as well. Okay. Um, we could do with a better Castellan. To be honest, we could do with a better Castellan and Lord Treasurer. But until we've ensured that there's a little bit of stability in the realm, we'll, we'll save it for the timing. We don't have Brave, do we? We don't have Brave. Um, his voices sound foreign. Oh, God, it's this guy again. We've already got trusting, so worst case scenario, we become fire obsessed, which isn't too much of a big deal. Let's go ahead, set our crown focus, throw out some titles to the people that it's relevant. Bear in mind, we did get that slight game crash yesterday, so unfortunately, all of our undead are no longer. Um, oh, sorry, I should say that the undead obviously left court when our father died, but I did dish out the honorary titles, which I've now got to do again. But never mind, it doesn't really matter too much. Right, there we go. Um, right, good shit. We are a little bit in debt because I sent my guy to go deal with a smuggler's ring, which he succeeded with, so we did gain some, uh, some prestige and some opinion with our vassals for doing that, but we've got to wait a while now for. Oh dear. Come rise with him to find the money. Yeah, we can afford the prestige in exchange for the gold. I think that's more than worth it. Oh shit, and now they want. Oh god, we can't do it. I'm the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms in King's Landing. I'm not sure I am. <laughs> I'm not sure I am. Anyway, let's get um let's get our books equipped. Let's make sure that we've got the most optimal stuff here um, for our character. We've got a Dornish spear. We've got Okay, there we are. That's a little bit better. Why have we got a claim on the Seven Kingdoms. It's because our di dynast. How, why has this guy got a claim on the Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne? I'm curious. Um, that's so peculiar. I mean, it's not like our father had one. Did our mother? Our mother obviously didn't have one either. God knows what they're talking about. Um, they have sent us a royal guard, though. Reynard Byerly. Uh, 90 personal combat. That's pretty decent. Um, and she owes R. Ah, right, so we did lend her a debt yesterday, don't forget. Like, 150 gold we lent her. Hopefully she'll honor it. Uh, she says no. So the Iron Throne cannot simply afford to pay the Quincy House at this time. We shall receive what is owed in due course. We could ask for a favor instead. We're basically buying a favor from our Lady Paramount for 150 gold. Sorry, for, for the, the, the Queen of the Iron Throne for 150 gold. I think it's worth it. Sure, let's get a, a favor on her instead. Right, there we are. Nice. That way, if she enforces around peace, I don't even know if you can have a Game of Thrones, to be honest with you. But that way, if she messes with us, we've, we've got a little bit of leverage there. Now known as what? Oh, we're known as the good for nothing. That's annoying. I was actually just checking our George points there. So we got 17.2 out of 48. Mainly because this plot has fallen apart. Obviously, where they found out about it. Let's we scrap it and restart it. Um... I think that will reset the plot so they no longer know what's going on. And we might be able to reinvite the people that we had before back into things. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, another daughter, Felina Martin. Not going to rename her. We're never going to play as her, so never mind. 
Melina Martin, and we will go ahead and throw you at just about anyone. Oh, we've got to educate all these damn kids. So who have we got? We've got Meryl Martin. I need to rename them all as well. Um, we've got Meryl, we have Devon, and we have Clayton. Bear in mind that we are sticking to our famous author. I, I say famous with a, with a dash of salt there, given that we're playing as Jeremy Strong. I'll have to go and find my author list and give all these kids a bit more of a them thematic name. We've got Asimov of the Martin Lands. I've gone for last names with all but one of them. We've got Lord Clark. And finally, we have Lord HD, because I thought HD Martin was already good enough without... Uh, I th Wells, I figured, was pretty obscure. So HD Martin already sounds pretty goddamn cool. Um... He's up amongst men. Yeah, let's try and forge blood with this guy. He's 26. He's got 1,225 prestige. I mean, getting up to the 4K, 5K for a custom bloodline? Don't remember now. Um, for however much we need, it's, it's going to be fairly simple with a guy this skilled, talented, and or sexy. 11.14 per month. Good God. And his tournament victory is, of course, going to help add on to that a little bit more. Huddleship of Duskendale is no longer considered part of the Trident. Oh, shit. We just stole... We stole back. Let's not say stole. We stole back what the Trident took from us. Ah, oh, look at the Trident now. We've reduced him to basically nothing. Um, now, seeing as this guy obviously has nothing to worry about in regards to reputations or reputation that they need repairing, let's go back to fabricating claims then. Um, what have the Trident got left here? I'd love to get River Run. Should we go ahead and take River Run? I think that's a, that's a fairly important one to go for next. The Duchy of River Run, I assume, is still... Oh, man, it's quite small, isn't it? Um... It's normally four provinces, but they've split it in... What have they done with it? <laughs> um, oh, I see. It's just split into now two separate. So we get this one. Uh, Branston, as long as it's under the trident, we get... Oh, that's under Dusk in there, right? We've already got that one. Okay, fair enough. So we could actually grab that and throw it at this guy here instead. Throw it at Lord Tristan Smallwood. We could give him the, the Duchy of River Run. Maybe keep the castle for ourselves until someone demands it. Oh, God. What are we doing now? Warden of the West again. Fantastic. Incredible news. This plot has really fallen over. I'm not giving up on it. I refuse to give up on it. We've, we've maneuvered it too far over the course of, like, several generations here to give up on it now. We've literally got claims to the veil in our dynasty. We've just got to get somebody on the throne that we can push a weak claim against. Now, unfortunately, in all this time we've spent pissing around, he's now got a son. So we've got to kill him off within... I mean, oh no, we've only got 14 years to kill off Lord Paramount Alba. Um, we should be able to manage it. 58%. Um, there's another guy. Come on. Get, get on board here. Please help me. One thing I really should be doing. Let's not split our forces so much. Let's start sowing descent. Let's get let's get him over there sowing descent. He's got a 60% chance yearly of lowering vassal relations. It's so rare that I would ever sow descent anyway. Because it's generally considered so useless. But we're right on the cusp of being able to grab another one of the kingdoms here. I've got to try it. Another bloody daughter. Good lord. These two are unstoppable. El Roan. Um, are we educating these kids ourselves? Why the hell am I not doing that? I named them, but then I forgot to actually give them an education. Classic. Right, let's go for that one. Um, oh, we're slothful, aren't we? I've taken the hunting focus, and so far it's done absolutely fucking nothing. Have I got a... Ah, oh, hold a grand hunt. There it is. Right. Find the white snake. We're just going to do that over and over and over and over and over. It'll give us the prestige that we want to forge our bloodline. That's my minimum... That's my, my, my minimum to... Except that this character hasn't been a complete failure. Because obviously the plotting is not going so well here. But if we can... If we can at least turn him into a, a great character. If we can at least get that bloodline. It doesn't matter so much about about not being able to get the veil. Although obviously I would prefer the fucking veil. It's just this guy. He's just not cut out for intrigue, is he? Um, so I'm going to turn all of his... All of his education into... All, all of his learning points into intrigue here. We got five intrigue. Ah! On the plus side, the hunt will take away uh, Slothful as well. That'll give us some more intrigue. And it'll make us a good educator, so we can kind of get a win out of that one. Um, so, Walter, you have been a very... You've been a, you've been a servant of this realm for many years. Much like our friend Urathon. This guy is also very good. Um, I will honor him with a... With a... A Martin heirloom. A gift of a quality artifact. For you, I will give you... The finest. <clears throat> the, the finest. Ah. Uh... The finest gemstones for you, Sir Walter. Hopefully that counted. I have no idea. It's Sir Arthur Musgood's turn to the joust, but the crowd shock. He stumbles out of the field late, clearly drunk too much spice liquor. What a terrible shame. Uh, ready, my horse. So how many tournament wins are we up to right now, then? Two small wins. Uh, sorry, two regional tournament wins. Wow. Uh, two second places and then two third places. How do you know if you've had, like, a small tournament win? They're all regional now. I guess maybe we've never fought in, a, in, a, in anything but a regional tournament. We could also take this guy on a foreign tour, given how young he is. Uh, 
The only option I've got is to make progress in my RAM. I don't want to do that. I want to go on an actual foreign tour. Is it too late? Are we too old? Bollocks. Um, progress of our own, basically we just, as we, we've seen this before, right? We just go visit our vassals and then they have a feast and we end up making them hate one another and then it's, it's like a massive waste of gold. Okay, that's a shame. What about sending for a faceless man? We can't kill off Elbar by ourselves. I don't think it's going to happen without a lifetime's worth of intrigue training. Let's see if the faceless men can offer us something here. Do we not join the alchemist guild yesterday as well? That crash has really fucked us here. I don't know how we managed to do it. Maybe we got fire obsessed when I met the alchemist or something like that. They want 2,800 gold. Are we going to spend 2,800 gold on the veil? Yes, we are. Absolutely, yes, we are. He will be assassinated. It's guaranteed. All we have to do is pay off 2,800 gold over the course of 15 years. And if we can't do that, something's gone horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. Let's go ahead and find the best stewards in the realm. In the world, I should say. Um, let's go ahead and do that. I say ruler, no. See who's willing to come to our court. Maybe with a bit of bribe as, uh, as well. I mean, she's a lady, so I don't think she can serve on our council. Uh, she is as well. Right, I'm looking for people we can potentially bribe here. Actually, why am I bothering looking for people we can bribe? We can't afford them. Um, right, let's try that again. Miles, treasurer of pain hall, join me. Uh, and Unwin, join me too. 1817. It's not much of an upgrade. It's not an incredible upgrade, but it's something. Oh, wait. <laughs> you get the points for that. I never considered... I never, ever considered the faceless man affecting George points. Ha. Huh. Well, there we go. Um, right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Castellan, I'm sorry. I am going to fire you, but I will try and improve relations to make up for the fact that I'm about to sack this dude. God, you're really good. Holy shit. Is he unmarried? He is married. That's a shame. I was going to say we could try and marry him off to one of our dynasty members. Um, obviously, the realm. And then Lord Treasurer is... Fired in a second. Hang on. Sack him. And uh, let's get you collecting taxes. I want to put the guy with slightly higher stewardship on collecting taxes. Because obviously he's got a much higher chance of collecting the tithe. 12% chance yearly though. My god, they are nowhere near as good as that last generation we had, huh? Orothon is, is the man to be. Nice. Asimov has gained poor fighter. And he's also gained fucking haughty. Haughty, obviously, is a horrendous childhood trait. Arguably the worst one. That's okay. All right, uh, we need a Chief General Ossifer. You are very, very good. Not complaining. What happened to our retinues, by the way? Are they all dead? Oh, no, we've still got them somewhere. Where the hell are they? Um. <laughs> yeah, of course they are. I don't know how they're up there. I don't know why they're up there, but that's where they are. And to be honest, in the meantime, we might as well also go for the business focus, bearing in mind that... Uh, ooh, hello. Oh, man, look at how much the veil I've got. Fucking hell. Uh, bearing in mind that... Um, we can't go on a grand hunt anyway because we can't afford it. So the business folks will at least bring in a little bit more gold. How long till we can flip over? Two more years. That was so expensive. What the, what the hell have I done here? That was that was a complete madness move. My acute budget deficit when you lie on your CV. Um, yeah, something like that. I was kind of hoping we could win this tournament because then we could at least make back a little tiny bit of gold. Nice. Okay. Not going to be 20 prestige. 50 gold. It's, it's tiny. It's insignificant. It's the smallest amount, but it's a great start. How have they managed to grab all of that? That's quite impressive. Um, oh, it was me like, oh, it's a tiny child on the throne. Of course there's a tiny child on the throne, you idiot. Do you not remember the... Fuck, okay, right. <laughs> okay, let's let, we'll let this debt pay off. There we are. Great start. We're up to seven intrigue now. I basically spent the past two years of this guy's life studying intrigue. We've only got a base of six learning. So we can only, at maximum, get 13 intrigue. Um, which is a bit of a shame, but... I mean, not much else we could do about that, unless we... Yeah, no, that is that is it's based on the base value from what I remember, so... It's the maximum we can get, even with 13 intrigue. Oh, dear. She's worried she will not find herself a husband. Marry as you please. Good luck, to be honest with you. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, 13 intrigue is still not going to be enough, is it, to really <laughs> make any sort of inroads into plotting. Maybe we should start imprisoning people and revoking and uh, ransoming them back out. I mean, it's a, it's a horrible strategy for earning cash, but what choice do I have here? One other way we can do it. Now, I have done this before in previous series, and it's it's a hell of a way to make money. Um, we can invite anybody who is a current treasurer to our realm. We're looking for people with decent amounts of gold that we can bring to our court and then spy on using the intrigue focus and then kick them out of our realm. However, oh, 125, that's pretty tempting. However, even with 125 gold, which is normally quite a lot, it's, it's barely going to put a dent in our debt. So this might be a lot of me 
Ooh, hello. Min-maxing in order to pay off our debt. Now, it will mean we also won't be able to go for business focus for fairly obvious reasons. 170. Oh, shit. Okay. We actually might be all right here. Right, I'm pretty sure we did this this series, did we not? Uh, I invited a bunch of people to court so that we were able to fund some of our more nefarious schemes. Uh, 206. That would do. Okay, that's about 1,000 gold's worth of people I think we've, in we've invited already. It's going to take us a long time to get through those. Realistically, I should invite absolutely everybody to court in the hopes that they die in our court without any children, heirs, successors, whatever else. Uh, so that we take uh, just about everything. I'll check a few more, but we'll probably leave it there. Uh, 93. Fuck it. Why not? You'll do. Join me. Okay. So now, instead of going for business, like I said, we will go for intrigues. That's another year, isn't it? For the fourth moon. Uh, yeah. Exactly one year's time. Flip over to that, and then we'll start getting gold in a bit more of an underhanded way. We'll start putting this intrigue study that we've been doing to good use. Oh my god, she's dead. What happened? She died in battle against the forces of Derek of Derek's outlaws. A random turncoat reachman killed her dead. Uh, hill clansman, I assume? Wildling. He's a wildling of reachman culture. What the fuck? He killed her dead. Stabbed her in the back. And now her son, Jeremy Martin of the Iron Throne. Talking about bloodline, by the way. Uh, are... Are gonna rule. My nephew. Are we regent? We should be fucking regent. Um, I guess we'll see. Long live the queen. Greetings, my lord. I have a proposition which I'm sure you won't fail to catch your attention. Simply put a new title for you and a coin for us. We need the coin out by the Bank of Little Valeria by Alira Koi. And I'm sure you can pay. Isn't it a fair deal? Sorry, what the fuck? Um, the Bl Valerian Bank is going to give us... <laughs> 187 gold. In exchange... We will, if we win, take a debt of 375 gold at 10% interest rate. They shall also supply mercenaries at no cost. We gain a weak claim on the Kingdom of the Rock that we will then push in war against her. They've just given us the rock on a silver platter because she owes the Bank of Valeria a hideous amount of debt. The issue is, it's going to throw us even further into debt, and there's no reason why they wouldn't also do the same as what they're offering us for someone else. Of course I'm going to say yes to this. They've got 24,000 men. We have 37,000 men. I think the, I think Valeria just gave us the rock on a silver platter. Holy shit. Okay. This is an opportunity we cannot afford to waste. We cannot afford full stop. But this is an opportunity we cannot afford to waste. Do... How smart is Sir Alan? My brother. Oh, the, the the he made his father a king's guard. That's kind of appropriate, I think. Okay, yeah, dude, 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 doing proud. Not only might we get the veil today, but we are definitely getting the rock because I'm not gonna lose this war. Not in a thousand years. Oh my god, we're dueling our own brother. We hit. He's downed. We didn't kill him, did we? I wonder if you become a kinslayer if you accidentally knock your brother down in a um. He's telling not your brother down in a joust. Second in a tournament, 25 gold. I'll take it. Right, okay, let's... Oh, well, we've still got three more months before we can change over our... Before we can change over our focus. Okay, here we go. Let's send half of you north, half of you south, and let's move in on the capital of the rock. Oh, my God, we can't afford this right now, but I'm going to do it. Scholars Foundation giving 12.5% city tax. What's another 125 gold when you're 1,500 gold in debt, huh? There are their troops. Let's see if we can surround them. Or sort of corral them in here. Um, good luck. Yep, great news. I can't afford to send for another maester right now. We, we, we actually are going to have to go so many years without a maester. Um, see if we can corral them into a combat. Uh, Paramount Recon is doing a fine job. I don't need to make any more enemies right now. Thank you very much. Doesn't hurt us either way. Oh, good commander. Sir Addison the Bold. Wow, he is very good, isn't he? Good lord. Um, let's see if we can change our... Well, firstly, let's do that. Um, let's also go ahead and uh, change our commanders around a little bit here. Unwin, Gwen. Oh my god, they're so good compared to some of the shit ones we've got right now. Rhaegar's the Dragon Rider. Bear that in mind. Okay. Jeremy Strong. Let's put let's put Addison here. Let's go Jeremy Strong and let's go Harlan. And then on this one, we'll put the Dragon Rider on the center because they probably don't need any more help at that stage. Then we've got Gwen and Daisy. These armies are insane. They're absolutely nuts. Um, come on, catch the army. We've got their army, but unfortunately our reinforcement can take a hell of a fucking long time to get there. We've got the Dragon Rider on the center. Bear in mind, dragons don't work in mountains. I think they're fine in hills, though, aren't they? Bloody hope they're fine in hills now in hindsight. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Whew. That was a little risky. 
Okay, chase him down. We've got another 8,000 troops coming in from the south there. But that by that time, our guys can hopefully catch the rest of their army. Follow them through. Winter's here. Got to be mindful of that. Oh, no. Our taxes. What a shame. Got him. Uh, where are they heading to? Lord Sandal the Rock is going to Silver Hill. Where the fuck is Silver Hill? Silver Hill's there. Right, follow them through as well. Boom. That's the last of their forces. Very good. Okay. 75%. You hit the rock. You guys siege. You just got, you guys just kick around a siege, basically. Pastorly Rock does not count as mountains, which makes a lot of sense. It's just one big rock, basically. Um, so Rhaegar will hopefully make quick work of this. Has he still got his dragon? He still has his dragon. Let's see how he does. Hopefully, this will put an end to this war very, very quickly. Oh, great. Spymaster's been murdered, and we think this tiny child is behind it. I'm not going to say that that's probably not right, but... Uh, no, he's doing a fine job. Please don't please don't interrupt me. I'm in the middle of uh, the most important war of this series. Please fuck off. Get out of here. Right, come on. Come on, torch it. What are you doing? Rhaegar, why are you taking so long, brother? Don't inform me of tribes. He's just not torching it, and I don't know why. Um, not that it matters. I mean, we are at 84% war score here. 82% with some quick siege smashing those ones down. Um, small private funeral will suffice, because I can't afford anything else. Thank you. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know why he's not burning that down. Hmm. I'm not sure. Anyway, doesn't matter too much. Old Stones is struggling to feed its people. Obviously, we've got to send the money here. Otherwise, that's another thousand gold we've basically thrown away by failing to maintain the colony, which I'm, I'm not going to do right now. This should be over. This war should be automatic now. We should just be able to unpause and leave it. Um, oh, he's decided to back us, of course. They've seen the way the, the uh, pieces have fallen here. Oh, that'll do it. Man, just as they started to counter siege as well. 100% war score. Thank you. We are now <laughs> the king of the rock. Oh, that's frustrating, isn't it? Um, convert to kingdom here. Can we do that? Oh, we can't because it has to be the holder's primary title. Leave it be. We're now an empire. What does that mean for us? Well, we've kind of fucked things up a little bit. We've got Martins on the Iron Throne and we've taken back the rock. Is there any way we can swear fealty back to the Iron Throne? Um... Negotiate annexation. We can offer to annex the Iron Throne. I wanted to convert the Rock Tier title back to... Oh, man. Back to a, a Kingdom Tier title. But I don't believe we can actually do that. Unless they declare war on us, evidently. Come on, then. Give us an Iron Stomach. An Iron Stomach for the new Emperor. The the two kings of House Martin. That's quite cool. Um, Even if it's not really what I wanted here. Only the High Septum is fit to crown me. Uh, bring the sinner to justice. He wants us to go to war with Master Tantan of King's Landing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, how, how do I do that? Great powers of the rock has subsided for now. Oh my god, look at our realm. So hideous. What, what have we done? Um, are we allowed to get coronated now or what? Uh, it's currently not waging war as a part of a deal to be crowned. We're, we're not though. Uh... So this this guy, isn't it? Tanton. De declare war. Oh, we can't because we're bankrupt. I see. So when we... I, I see when our... Uh, I'm going to just disband our armies. We need to rebuild those at some stage. This is a complete mess. What the hell have I done? Um, right, okay. You can you can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and close some of this stuff out. We can go ahead and negotiate annexation with everybody. Um, I'll go personally. See if he wants to join us. And now we've got a peasant revolt. Oh, fantastic. Um, have we lost Seaguard? <laughs> I think we really screwed things up here. Oh, God. Right, Peasant Revolt dealt with. Um, what? Yeah, what about that annexation? You guys... Hey, you guys want to be annexed? Uh, called Baylor Martin's sister. He's a he's a descendant of our dynasty. Let's just exile him. I'm not going to wipe out our own dynasty members. I will go personally. Oh, my God. It's 100 gold apiece. Jesus. Um, so the only issue is now, if we want to press the common there, we would have to go to war against the Iron Throne, which is our dynasty members, which obviously we're not going to do. Man, I would really love if we could swear fealty back to the Iron Throne. That'd be awesome. Oh, man. Um, it's got to be a mechanic, a, a way to do that. To come back under the, the Iron Throne. That's a shame. Fuck. How? How? How has she done that? What? How did she do that? She's got another plot going that's to kill Lord John of Castamere. Why are we dead? That doesn't make any fucking sense. We can clearly see she's plotting against someone else entirely. Brilliant. We are now dead. 
We are now King Asimov of The Rock. <laughs> oh, God, this is so fucked up. What have we done? Okay. Um, I'd really like to join the Iron Throne again now, please. Thank you. King Asimov of The Rock. He's not terrible, to be fair. I can't believe that that other character got assassinated. I don't believe that that was how that was supposed to happen. I, I genuinely do think that was a, a, a glitch from where a plot has gone through and it shouldn't have because we can quite clearly she unless she was a, a a part of another plot and she was the one that offered to cut through the balcony or something like that but i still don't know who would have killed him off a just ambitious gregarious authority he had nothing wrong with him we hadn't done anything wrong we hadn't ever killed anyone we hadn't made any enemies sure we tried to kill off the guy in the veil a couple of times but the plot was outed it wasn't an attempted murder it was just a plot to do it I don't know who would have had us assassinated. All hail his grace, Asimov of House Martin. First of his name, King of the Rock in the Westerland, Lord of Rosby, Shield of Lannisport, and Protector of the Realm. And we owe 205 gold to, uh, to Valyria still. However, we are out of debt. So let's pretend that was an incredibly intelligent play. Fuck, that's like the best character we've had for, for generations and generations. And now we've been reduced to this. I just don't understand who killed us off. Oh, God. Alex Scales. Oh, my God. Their names must be randomly generated. Oh, is this another descendant of that other woman? Je no way is this a descendant of that other Scales one. Maybe it's because they're Westerosi Valyrian. But anyway, our Dragon Rider died. So now we've got Alex Windworm instead. He's another member of our realm, at least. So could potentially make him a commander. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Yeah, that sucks. We lost our Dragon Rider. We lost our great character. This guy has got willful, curious, broody, playful. Um, the only bad one, really, is Haughty. But besides that, he's not too terrible. 11 years old, 7 Marshal, decent Guardian. Actually, a pr pretty good Guardian there. Um, basically, the upgrade of our previous character, Diligent rather than Slothful. He's got all the similar things. He's got Stress rather than Gagarus as well, though. Man, that's, that's, that's really annoying. I, mean, I genuinely do want to go and have a look at... Um, I do genuinely want to go and have a look at the save game and find out who killed us. Because I, I just can't fathom that that was something that happened. He was one of the best characters we've ever had in CK2. Clark gained just. Could have given us just, but that's okay. I won't be too angry. Oh, good. Uh, we are a squire, but we're a squire to our dead father, who has apparently been drilling us day and night. Uh, excellent. Gained trained fighter from our undead zombie father. Oh, we didn't actually get trained fighter. Because he's probably because he's undead. Um, <laughs> oh, that sucks. Come on. Okay, let's set him to train children then. Uh, is he a formidable fighter? I'm looking for someone preferably a formidable fighter rather than... Ah, oh, there we are. Boom. Swap him out. Uh, train children. What's the chance of that progressing? 27% chance yearly. Let's get you getting some tax. I have paid off the debt now to Valyria as well. So that's the 250 gold down. But we do have nothing to worry about in regards to that. So we didn't get the veil. Despite everything, despite going eight to 2,800 gold in debt, we did not get the veil. But we did get given the rock on a silver platter. There is still potential for the veil if we could declare war. Which, of course, we can't because we... Oh, we would have to go to war with the Iron Throne. Why can't we go to war with the Iron Throne? We need 100 piety. And then we could potentially also get the veil. But for another one of our dynasty members in a separate kingdom, it's, it's not much point, is it? We'd basically just be dismantling the Iron Throne to build it back under the rock. It would be so much better if we could just rejoin the Iron Throne. I'm going to see if there's a way we can do that. Um, pay me interest on behalf of my rival. I'll issue a reprimand. Yeah, fuck her. Uh, I guess she was the one that killed our father as well, given that she's also our rival. And in fact, oh, it doesn't say for definite, but she is our rival. I wonder why. That's so weird. I don't think it was her that killed him, though, because she had another plot quite clearly active. And obviously, you can't have two plots going at once. I have no idea. Oh, nice. We just purely randomly got Zealous there. We're also a skilled fighter. Honestly, this guy's come out really, really well. He's got 17 martial already at the age of 13 now. Um, potentially, then, best outcome here. Oh, that's not good. Potentially best outcome. I was going to say we'd get something better from that. But uh, Curious becomes shrewd, naturally. Wolfle becomes brave or ambitious or authoritative or fantastic. Obviously, that turns it into just. Haughty is kind of bad. Um... I'm going to worry about arbitrary there. So we're either going to get proud, cruel, ruthless, or nothing. Ruthless actually wouldn't be too terrible. Maybe we need a good old fucking ruthless ruler. Rather than being... Rather than being... I don't know if I can if I can commit to this idea. But rather than building up the Iron Throne through intrigue, maybe we just completely rebuild it in our own image. The mighty Martin Rock. Our 14, which means we can get married now as well. Let's go and see what we've got kicking around out there. Um, looking for someone else strong. That would be the ideal one. Um... 
She's 10. She's 16. So that's only two years I was senior. Fine. That'll do. Two characters that are strong. Hey, much higher chance of getting a strong kid rather than going for the, the, the strong genius combo or anything like that. We might as well go for the relatively safe one. Um, no, actually, we've got a ridiculous amount of gold again. I suppose that helps picking up. Where the hell do we get the Stormlands from? <laughs> um. Hello. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got the... Most of the Crownlands, we've got uh, most of the Westerlands, and we've got most of the Stormlands. And obviously some parts of the Trident. Oh no, we've, we've made things so bad for ourselves now. We've got a Martin on the Iron Throne, we've got a Martin on the rival Empire of the Rock. It's Martin versus Martin. I was trying to unify the Ram under Martin, instead I've, I've made Martin versus Martin. Good lord. I think we can all agree. An absolute unforgivable mess. I'm going to spend some time between now and tomorrow's episode looking up methods to uh, rejoin the Iron Throne, if at all possible. Uh, I would love to to s sort of forsake our kingdom level title and, and try and... I, as I recall, there is a way to do it, but I don't remember how. I think the Iron Throne have to declare war on you or try and re-annex you, and then you agree to it, rather than us being able to do it. I think they have to offer it to us, and then we have to accept. Not sure. Anyway, we will leave it there for today. Thank you all for watching. Um... What a weird episode, huh? Thank you to Nostrus, Lucas, Sarabi, Asana Kirita, William Green, Jackson Windman, Vacuus Backers, Chesty, Alex, Chris, Olympia George, Justin Wallace, Ben Hofflin, Zazzy711, and everyone else at the Insane Lovers on Patreon, especially during this month of all month for keeping the channel possible in the first place. I am redoing the Patreon list currently. Uh, it's taking a little longer than expected because they're, I mean, lockdown, lockdown strangeness has uh, inspired very, thankfully, I am. But God, fucking, can I start this whole sentence again? <clears throat> People have very generously backed on different tiers um, to help support the channel during the, the lockdown times of strange YouTube monetization policy, which have crippled many channels, mine included. Um, if you're interested in more information on that, Hank Green did a pretty good thread on it. I believe that my Patreon post should be live on it as well if you're interested but i'm not going to give my opinion on youtube because i don't want to be shot so go and check that out there's, there's some interesting information on that but a lot of people very generously uh adjusted their pledges so i am working on the new list but i'm basically having to redo them all from scratch so thank you much appreciated it will be a little more delayed than usual thank you as well goes out to where are my lists? Caron24, Nick, Astro, Jason, Sushu, Dranmir, Donald, Surthor the Swede, Harry Soft, Rob, Begurf, Udric, Haddon, Supernanny089, Warcats, Sam Kears and everyone else at Patreon as well. Again, same thing. If you want a shout out in these lists, please send me your names. And I will get that done for tomorrow. See you all then.